in this tutorial I'll show you how to make these art pieces using masking fluid and watercolor paints. For this project you'll need watercolor paper in whichever size you prefer, watercolor paints, a palette or a paper plate to mix your paint colors, some frisket or masking fluid. You can get this at any high-end art supply store. I got mine in white. You'll need some regular brushes and some tools to apply your masking fluid. You'll ruin a regular paintbrush, so I recommend using these clay working tools because they're silicone. You'll also need some water, and if you're not comfortable freehanding your letters on the page, print out a template and get yourself some tape to tape it up to the window. If you'd rather do this on a canvas, get a canvas, a large brush, and some absorbent ground. Once you coat this canvas in the absorbent ground, it will actually be able to hold your watercolor paints. Simply apply one really thick coat over the surface, let it dry completely, and apply one or two more coats, letting them dry completely in between, then let that dry for 48 hours. If you're using your template and some regular watercolor paper, tape your template to a window and then tape your watercolor paper over the template and simply trace it. Once you're ready to get started, get a little bit of masking fluid onto the tip of your brush and I recommend this because large globs tend to get very messy and bleed onto areas of the page where you didn't want masking fluid. So get a little bit at a time and just reapply your masking fluid on your brush for each letter. It may take a little bit longer, but you get much cleaner, tidier lines with this and you can actually get much thinner lines. You'll want it to be a little bit raised off the page so you know that it's completely covering the surface you want to mask. And if you mess up, you can just rub it off of the page with your finger. It will beat up and you can pull it off. Once you're done covering your entire design, look at it at an angle to see in the light where the sheen is and that's every place that your masking fluid is covering. Once you're done with that, cover your entire page with a nice wash of water and then apply your watercolor paints. I like doing a wash over the whole thing and then adding little bits of pigment and seeing how they bloom into different designs. But really, there isn't any one right or wrong way to do this project. Just do what you like, use the colors you like, and see what happens. The important thing is to have fun and be creative with it. For this one, you can see I used shades of red, purple, and blue and did a nice dark design. This one was my favorite out of the three that I did because I did a light wash of color over the whole page and then I slowly built up a little bit more paint as I went, let it dry a little bit, and then kept building up more and more color on the page. Once you're done with your painting, allow the pages to dry completely, 100% completely, completely dry. If you're impatient and you don't wait until it's dry, you're going to mess up your project because you're going to get paint or water on areas where you wanted to mask your page. To remove the masking fluid, you can pull up one corner and then peel it off. You can rub it with your fingertip or take it off with a rubber eraser. Just be careful not to press too hard because you could damage your paper. And again, make sure that your page is completely dry or you're going to damage your project. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for other fun DIY projects.